who would like to start? Gary? Oliver, you have a very good record in the Europa League with goals. Um, why is that? Can you explain that good record in the Europa League this season? Why? Yeah, why? Because uh, basically I have uh, the most time of game uh, in the uh, Europa League. Uh, when uh, the manager um, give me the chance to um, to bring something else to the team, you know, I always try to give my best and keep uh, keeping committed, you know, fully committed for reach our target. So uh, you had the opp opportunity to play more in Europa League, and obviously uh, when uh, chances are coming, and try to be. Uh, Efficient and uh, it was a uh, working team now, so hopefully, I'm uh, gonna score a couple of more goals to help the team to reach the final. Do you feel that the Europa League is the best chance of qualifying for the Champions League next season? This is definitely one of uh, our two chances, but um, we, we don't want to uh, bet and uh, you know, to gamble and um, I mean to forget about the championship and uh, give everything on the Europa League. We, we want to play, uh, we want to qualify uh, first from uh, the championship. I know it's going to be tough, but I have um, the feeling that um, if we win our five games, we can do it. So, yeah, we basically have. Uh, uh, five fin finals to play in the championship, and we will try to to make it. You know, but the Europa League is another target, obviously. How much? I mean, obviously, there's still the possibility to face your old team in the final. How much is that a a dream for you in this competition? A dream? I don't know, but obviously, uh, I'm very excited uh, because we uh, we can. Uh, if we beat Prague tomorrow, we have uh, an excited um, semi-final to come, and obviously uh, the final will be a, a big game. Uh, we've got a strong team, uh, still strong, strong, very strong teams uh, in Europa League, you know. So it's going to be interesting, and uh, yeah, we are looking forward for for these games. But obviously, uh, first we need to beat uh, Prague, and uh, trust me, it's not going to be easy. Quite a selfish striker, selfish striker. You know, you're happy to be on the side, and the same at Arsenal, the same at here. Mm -hmm. But is there not a part of you sometimes who just wants a bit, maybe be a bit selfish and say, I want to play? Uh, what do you mean, uh, on the side? Are you, are you happy to, you, you know, you seem happy and less frustrated when you're a substitute? You almost you, you play for the team. But is there no, trust me, uh, I'm very frustrated when I'm not uh, on the pitch, but I just don't want to show it. Uh, I mean, uh, when you're a competitor, when uh, you know uh, you've been through um, difficulties all through your career, um, you need to keep that frustration for you and transform it in um, energy, positive energy, if I can say, you know, on the pitch. And but trust me, I'm not happy to uh, play the second role. Um, so that's why. Um, you know, um, I said uh, next year I, I will need to 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 have a, a more important role uh, to play uh, in a team, in the team. So I don't know. I have uh, no clue about that now. I uh, you have to meet um, Marina, uh, but uh, obviously I'm happy here. But the thing is, I just. Uh, I just want to uh, enjoy, you know, and uh, it's not because I'm 32 and I won the World Cup that I am almost retired and just uh, satisfied uh, of a uh, second place. The balls in their court to come to you and tick the box. That's is there it. a date they have to do it by? Or? That's is it, there, yeah. Is there a date they must talk to you by? Yeah, before the end of the season. You can uh, be approached by other clubs now, can't you? Have you had any other offers? Can you tell us? Yeah, but no, I cannot tell you. Because the priority is Chelsea. When you look at your record, and you look perhaps the club are going to have a, a transfer ban potentially. I mean, surely it's a bit of a no-brainer to tick the box on you if they can. 
and you know, you, your records that could have you around. Is there any reason why, why wouldn't they? Why would they why would not? No, no, no. The thing is, obviously, we are we are ex expected. Uh, we are, we are still uh, we still don't know if um, the club will have the opportunity to uh, get players or not. So maybe it's it's a bit confusing now. But yeah, what I um, I try, uh, you know, with what I, I have achieved here, I think yeah. Um, yeah, there is there is no uh, reason that they're not gonna give me the the one more year. But yeah, I need to be happy also. <laughs> yeah, even if they do the extension, that will only be one year. <coughs> when it comes to the summer, would you still want clarification from the manager to know that you're going to get more minutes next year in order to be happy to stay here, even if they've given the option? Because you you know, if with one year left on the contract, you could still. And go somewhere else. So would you want more more minutes anyway? Yeah, the most important thing for me is to be to enjoy the game, to be happy on the pitch, and obviously to have uh, to have more minutes. You know, I mean, uh, I'm a competitor, so yeah, obviously, uh, I don't want to talk about that. It's not the point today, but uh, yeah, uh, I really want to play more. Let's get back on the game and to the back. What did you experience in the first match? Ah, yeah, okay, okay. sorry, I didn't hear you. Um, well, basically, I think we've been very impressed by, uh, by this team, by the quality, by the intensity they put in the game. We get used to, to it in Premier League, but honestly, uh, uh, the first half was... Uh, very tough. Uh, they put a lot of pressure uh, with the good pressing uh, uh, all around the pitch, you know. So, um, say it was a, a very uh, tough game for us. Uh, even if the second half we had more possession and um, we control uh, better the game, but they still were dangerous in counter attack. So we know uh, what kind of team we're gonna face tomorrow. They're not gonna give up, and that's why we are very uh, cautious about uh, this game. And uh, we need to uh, to play uh, at our hundred percent if we don't want to be um, disappointed at the end of the game. Olivia, Olivia the uh, Slavia Prague coach was in before, and he said that Eden Hazard was on the same level as Messi and Ronaldo. We saw how special Messi is last night. Would you say that he's up there at that level with the best players in the world? Uh, if not at this level, is not far at all, uh, because I train uh, every day with him, and uh, yeah, he's uh, he's unbelievable, you know. So yeah, he's uh, this kind of player who can make the decision uh, any time uh, in a game. He's shown it a few times this season, you know, at Anfield, Liverpool, uh, in a in League Cup uh, game. Uh, uh, against uh, Brighton, I don't remember when he uh, just took the ball and yeah uh, took on a few players. So yeah, he's um, he's he's a Denaza, you know, he's the best player I play with. So it's not the first time I, I said that. And for me, he's uh, for sure in the top uh, top three. Yeah. Without, without going back into the contract situation, um, you're one of a number of players who can't really think beyond the summer at Chelsea. So does that make you more determined as a group to, to maybe win this tournament knowing it could be your last chance to win a major trophy today? Uh, one more time, as competitors, we want to win a trophy this year. This is our last chance, basically. So. Yeah, we really want to make it, and uh, even if uh, some of the players uh, doesn't know where they where they're gonna be next year, doesn't matter. You know, we really want to uh, to win this Europa League, and uh, obviously for our fans, and uh, they uh, they deserve it. You know, and uh, the rest have been very uh, uh, like uh, they they bring us a great support from uh, the, f the first minute of the season. So yeah, we uh, we need to. Bring it uh, home. 
Alvaro Morata, now Higuain, and also yourself, take a little bit of time to adjust to the way that Mauricio wants his strikers to play. Why is it di why is it perhaps more difficult un under this system for a striker to really thrive and score goals? Do you think? What what are the expectations that the manager has? Um, just being in the box, you know, and do our job. Uh, um, maybe if um, we don't score as many goals as uh, he would like us to do, maybe, you know, it's not uh, one player, it's uh, an offensive um, um, animation, if I can say, so maybe we could be more dangerous uh, with more crosses, more run, running behind, you know, but yeah, yeah, when you when you're not scoring enough goals, obviously you you point the, the striker, but it's uh, more like a, an offensive uh, animation to to improve. You know. Has it felt one of the hardest systems to score goals in? <sighs> Talk about system. I don't know. I think um, we are doing well in that system, but obviously, uh, if I have to compare with. Uh, the other system I have to play, uh, I play in the past, um, for example, with the national team. Um, I'd rather to play with, um, if you ask me, with um, a number 10 around me, you know, or with a second striker. But I'm not making the team and it's not me, the manager, so I have to adapt myself and respect. And even if uh, you know, this year it's a bit more difficult, even if Europa League it's working well for me. Uh, I've been playing like that at Arsenal for almost six years and I was scoring goals, you know. So it's just, uh, it's not about the system, maybe sometimes it's just uh, the philosophy and maybe finish with more players in the box. I uh, was watching games, uh, you know, Champions League games and even other games, Premier League, I think uh, we have to improve in that uh, way, like finish with uh, more players in the box, obviously to create more danger. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you.